Okay, welcome to a short training video on how to use Patchwork, a piece of software which allows you to assemble the various layers of an NFT to create a final series of images. It, it generates those images based on traits that you assign. Let me, uh, let me give you, I'm not gonna cover all the details in Patchwork because the documentation does that. I just want to step through and show you quickly how you would go about setting up a new project. So for that purpose, I'm going to use a, a, an old existing project of mine, and I'm going to simplify this so that uh, I can get through it quickly enough to show you. Um, you're going to undoubtedly start with a Photoshop document with all your layers in it. And uh, those layers uh, will contain the traits that you're going to be using. So for this one, I have uh, you know skin colors for this cat. That's one of the traits is, is the skin that's being used. Uh, other traits that are being used here, uh, there are many different ones. I'm also going to be using the eyes. You can see I have different eye colors that I can toggle on and off. Uh, I'm going to be using the eye layers to show you uh, that trait. And then I'm going to be using two different outfits that the cat can wear to show you traits that are uh, grouped under a hierarchy. So you'll have the top level outfit and then under it, um, you'll have two different outfits and each of those comes in different colors. So the outfit itself is a trait and then the color of the outfit is a second trait. So for example, here's one of her outfits. You can see it uh, outfit number one and it's in several different colors. And then you, another optional outfit would be uh, uh, the armor and you can see this comes in various colors also so I'm going to be using that so that I can show you uh, two levels under a group of traits um, and I'm also going to show you a conditional trait one of the conditional traits is this necklace and jewelry you can see it comes in all the colors that match the outfits um, this trait only goes with outfit number one um, it's not intended to be there if the cat's naked, nor is it, uh, does it work with the armor layers. So it's conditional. It's possible the cat could end up with a necklace. But only if the cat has this outfit already. So this is a conditional trait. I'll show you how that works. So I've included the necklace layers also in my example. I'm assuming you're going to get your... You're going to get each of these layers. You're going to save these off. And the way, you know, there is a built-in script in Photoshop, export layers to files that you can, and what it will do is save every layer off as its own PNG file with transparency preserved. And it will name it based on the name that you gave that layer. So if you give the layer a good name, that'll be the name of the file. It'll be much easier to find it in Patchwork. So I highly recommend you use names for your layers that will instantly tell you what it is. Like for this one here, it's necklace, armband, outfit one, blue. Okay, so we can see this is the one that's intended to go with the blue outfit. Um, the one appropriate to this outfit is actually has, is this one with the green jewels in it. Okay, have the names work that way and it's gonna be much easier for you. Okay, so when you first log into Patchwork, you're gonna be on the dashboard page. You're gonna have a login assigned. You're going to have a project uh, already in the database for you. Um, it's when you first see it, it'll just say project uh, and you can click it. It is possible in Patchwork to, mul to manage multiple projects at the same time. In this account, I have two, but let me just show this one to you. Um, when you click the name of the project, you can come in here and change the name to something descriptive. Uh, you can also put in here your IPFS folder hash. This is the name of the folder that you are storing your images on in, uh, let's say, for example, Pinata or another IPFS storage location. You're going to put that in here when you're ready to generate your metadata. You don't have to do it right now. Uh, not until you're, you're really kind of wrapping your project up, then, then you're going to generate the images. You're going to copy them to, for example, Pinata, and then you're going to get a folder name assigned, and you, this is where you would put it. And then you can output your metadata at the very end of the process. Here also, you're going to name your NFT. This is in the metadata. 
um, this, these two brackets with the number sign that will put the number of the NFT in there automatically. So mine is called cat. The first token that's minted is going to be cat one, cat two, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you also have to put in here the size of your layers. Okay. All your layers are, are of course the same size and that is the final output size of your NFT. You need to put the dimensions in here. It currently isn't bothering to detect those. You just need to let the system know what the size of this is and then uh, and put those in here then you're going to click save and you will see that project notice that there is it, it currently has zero size because we haven't uploaded any any data yet any layers and we haven't generated any nfts there's a 25 gigabyte size limit for the final artwork this can be increased if you contact us. Uh, that is uh, one of the things we can set up for you. And you can see there's no NFTs and no uh, and no final images have been generated yet. Okay, so that this is the dashboard. The next page and the first page you really want to get things set up for is the traits page. Okay, I just switched uh, to this current project, project, the one I'm using to demonstrate this for you. Um, over here on the right side, this is how you build your list of traits. You've got groups. These are also, you can think of them as categories if you want, but a uh, trait group can be the name of a trait, like, you know, the skin or something like that, or it could be a container for multiple different kinds of traits. Uh, for example, let's call it that. Let's call it skin. Whatever you type in the top part really doesn't matter in a trait group. This is just for your reference so that you remember what's there. But what goes down here, if there are in fact traits directly underneath this that are important, you need to have a tag put in here. This is Think of this as a variable that will hold the choice for a given NFT. So let's, and, and this, this is just for reference right now. You'll actually be able to change how this appears in the metadata on the tags page. But just for right now, uh, I'm just going to do all lowercase the word skin. That's where the choice is going to be stored for this. You, once you click it, so you click to edit, uh, and I'm going to put some traits under skin. In fact, there are a bunch of different uh, um, skins. There are uh, um, seven different skin colors here. In uh, what you know, I'm going to I'm going to actually just limit this just to keep it simple. So I'm going to uh, add uh, black, black skin color. <clears throat> the next and previous buttons cycle to the next uh, element at the same level under the same parent node. They cycle, they save this information and then they cycle. So I'm gonna give the next uh, black, I'm gonna use a white and let's say uh, blue. Those are the three skin colors we're gonna use. And if you click it again, actually it looks like I put four. So blue and green. Right. Okay. Yeah. And then it goes back to black again. Right. You can go back and forth. Okay. Through the list. So the, this kind of optimizes your workflow. You can get through an entire list like this quickly. It'll only stick with these. When you use the next buttons, it'll stick with just these ones underneath whatever uh, group you're working with at the moment. So, so what, what's going to happen then? And these names are important. These, these are the actual pieces of information that get written into the metadata, whichever of these is assigned to this, particular to the to an nft let's say an nft the nft number one is generated for your collection it's going to assign one of these four colors to it that color value will be stored in this variable skin okay or this tag okay so there's a skin that's one trait group another trait group and we mentioned and looked at it is our eyes and we will uh i'll just do that we'll call that tag also eyes kind of name the same thing uh, that's all there is here. And let's add a few eyes to that uh, on a few eye traits under this. We'll give it, you know, three eye colors. Uh, maybe we'll use um, uh, green and we will have, let's see, we'll have red eyes. That's another of the color. And uh, we will use um, uh, purple. Okay. And we don't need a tag under this because there's nothing below the eye color. So uh, th this is already an eye color. I'll show you when a tag would be appropriate. But since there's nothing underneath this, um, you've got skin and you've got eyes. And then there's no variations underneath like green eyes, for example. If there was a, a, another kind of variation, we could uh, vary underneath that. I'll show you 
a tag that works that way. But right now, all you need to know is that we're gonna, it, there are two variables. The skin, it's gonna pick one of these four skins and it's gonna pick one of these three eyes for this particular NFT. Okay, now I'm gonna set up uh, a, 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 the more complicated group here. This will show you a hierarchical group. I drag out another trade group, drag it, drop it on project. It's right here, blank. And uh, let's just get a few things set up on it. I'm going to set up two traits under it. This this one is going to be called outfit, you know, or or let's say clothing. And the tag under it will say we'll call that clothing also. And then we're going to have two clothing. So we're going to have we'll call one is just a dress, and uh, we'll call this. Um, uh, we'll call outfit color. The name of will be the dress is going to come in different colors. We need to store not only the dress in the in the clothing tag, but we're going to need to know the the color of the dress. We'll call that outfit color because I already have it plugged in for that. And then if we go to the next, uh, the dress, and we're also going to have armor, and that also is going to have a color, and that color we want it to be the same as uh, the the dress because uh, they're the color the type of outfit is one trait and the colors are another trait and uh, don't need to be differently uh, created uh, it, it would be a little strange in your um, in your tree of traits if they did have that okay so now you have a hierarchy so now the dress and the outfit we're going to give each of them three colors they're the same three colors let me show that you that so three colors so this is hierarchy so and I don't, once I get this done, I'll step through this and explain to you how this is all used. Let's, uh, let's do it this way. Let's, the three colors that we're going to use are red, white, and black. The same for both of them. Red, white. And black. Okay, so you'll see. So we have two options. So this is how the NFT is going to be created. Um, the NFT is going to uh, patchwork is going to start at the top of this list. It's going to say, okay, first I need to select a skin color for this NFT. Let's say it. Let's say it picked black. Okay. Then, then uh, it's going to go down the list to the next group, okay? And it's going to say, okay, now it needs an eye. So it's going to pick one of these three. Let's say it picks uh, red. Then it'll go down and it'll say, okay, now I need to pick what the, what the NFT is going to wear. Maybe the NFT uh, wears nothing. Actually, let me put that in as, as a trait option. Um, how about none? Okay. So there is no, so this is the possibility. Uh, the, the NFT is either going to have a dress on, an armor on, or it's just going to be naked. Those are three possibilities, none. Okay. Under each of those, if, however, it let, let's say the NFT, it, it, the patchwork decides that the NFT is going to have a dress. It rolls. It's like rolling a dice. One in three chance it's going to pick dress because we haven't assigned any odds yet. I'll, I'll, we'll get to that in a moment. But so one in three chance it's going to pick dress. And then there's a one in three chance it's going to be uh, red, white, or black, and it and it and so therefore it'll go down the list. It goes down top, left to right, top to bottom. So it's going from skin. It'll pick eyes. It'll pick a clothing type. If it happened to be one that has colors, it will after it picks that clothing type, it'll pick the color of that clothing. All right. And we have outfit color for both of them. And don't need one if the NFT is naked. Um, if there's no other clothing items that are possible, then there's no reason to choose clothing color if the, the clothes there are no clothes. If there were different clothes that were possible.